Hi everybody, this is Beth the African Storyteller Tevila and welcome. <laughs> I know I'm feeling myself and I'm a little bit extra because today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to the hairdressers, you know, get my hair all nicely done by my amazing hairdresser. So please like, subscribe, follow, you know, all the good stuff. And leave a comment and let us go to the hairdressers and see what my magical hairdresser can do listen uh, because I love this place and I love this people I'm gonna give you a, a few of the dates that are necessary just in case you want to check in so this is B's hair place I think it's called B's beauty parlor or something like that but it's the only D's you'll find at Chester House on Queen Angus Street in Nairobi and oh my god they are clean they're efficient they're amazing and my go-to hairdresser her name is chow and she is a magician with any kind of hair she's been doing my hair since my wedding so if you've ever seen my wedding pictures she did that mm -hmm. that girl did that and my dreadlocks at that point were barely 10 inches long and she made it look that good so yeah I'm definitely plugging them because they're so deserving of that plug and I have been visiting them like I said since 2013 and they're amazing and uh, so far we begin with the shampoo as you can see mm. they're so good they don't skimp on that good stuff they make sure your hair is well shampooed the guy at the sinks is just amazing and I ask for the same I'm a, I'm a, I'm a creature of habit I ask for the same people same thing every single time and they're just amazing so this is just you know uh, a few of the details you might need if you want to go get your hair done there which i highly recommend by the way listen you know that's a good wash you know <laughs> that is a freaking good wash And then once they rinse out that shampoo, they put in the treatment. Uh, because my hair is left neglected for a long time, they, they put in a generous amount. And this, this right here is what I pay money for. Amazing massages to go with the amazing hair wash. This massage is probably the reason why I come to the hair salon. Okay, apart from Chow, this massage is bomb. Bomb. Boom. I'm actually known for tipping quite generously just so this massage can last another 10 minutes or so. <laughs> Don't tell them though. Now once that is done, they have to wrap my hair up. Because I hate the dryer, they just let me sit in a corner and listen to music or read a book or do whatever I have to. And uh, he's the funniest bit. I have a big ass head and one shower kit doesn't fit. So they put on two shower kits just to make it work. Once the treatment soaks in, they rinse it out and then this is what she does. I'm using my daughter's head because I somehow um didn't record my hair being twisted but this is what is twisting where she just kind of isolates every single thread and tidies up the ends and twists it up nicely into you know making sure that it's locking so this is the actual locking part all righty so once she does that in this particular instance uh, she's doing this particular hairdo but she, this is the styling part so they wash 
they massage, they treat, they rinse, they twist, and then they style. So this is what I love Chow for. I sit in her chair and I literally never ever tell her what I do. I sit there and say, Chow, make me look bomb. Make me look bomb. And I'm obviously loving that word bomb quite a bit today, right? But anyway, so in this particular case, she twisted two dreadlocks together and because I have a big ass head and I have a really thick hair uh, she needs Marcy that lady in the background she is uh, the best manicurist in the city uh, I swear by her and she's so helpful as you can see she's helping hold up my hair just so Chow can tie it in a nice little bun and she's gonna do a bit of an amazing thing and I usually like um, styles like this because I can undo them in stages so once um, I really don't like this little um, or once it, it wears out this little um, front bit I can take it out and then just have the locks uh, intertwined like the, the braided bit and then yeah she does stitch with a needle and thread just to make sure that it stays in place but yeah once I'm, I, I don't want to have this little um, front part I can undo it and just have it in a bun and have the twisted locks you know excuse me in a bun but then I can after a couple of weeks undo the little twist that she's done and I can have curly hair I'm gonna insert a picture just so for reference you see what it looks like once I undo everything and then I can use that for a couple of weeks before you know if I wash them out then that's that and I have to visit her again and if I'm out of the country then I have to figure out how to do my hair myself which is always a mess and uh, so it's amazing that I will leave my hair neglected for so long like I literally just shampoo it moisturize and put it in a bun or you know cover it up with a scarf or leave it hanging and then when I come to Kenya and I visit Chao she has to make sure that my hair is nicely treated it's moisturized it's glossy it's shiny she cuts off all those you know bits and ends that don't need to be there and put it in a nice really beautiful style and then I get to enjoy that when I'm at home and she just really cares about her clients and I love that about her and just look at her, her nails my sister is always fascinated that she can do my hair with those nails but she's a well put together lady and she has great ideas she's good at her job and she's amazing and I love her and yes so this is um, kind of sort of what we are doing today for this particular video and then we'll see the end results And uh, that lady video the, the, the one taking the video, that's my soul sister, Gi, otherwise known as Linda. And um, when I do come to the hairdressers, so it's, a, it's usually a whole day affair, and so I just kind of book <laughs> a can have lunch with them there and I can talk talk to them my nieces do drop by my sisters do drop by my friends drop by people just randomly come and we have such a good time and when I go to the salon that's my sister back there in a blue um, suit and yes so people just come and we'll have a warm time because I'm usually sitting there for so long I get my pedicure done my manicure done my waxing done my hair done and I'd probably be there for six to eight hours on any given time that I on any given day that I visit so yeah I usually have my little crew there <laughs> entourage and we just have a, a bowl and after this I get my eyebrows cleaned up and then I get my you know three month lashes put on three, three week lashes put on and then, you know, it's usually just a whole day affair of feminizing myself. I usually say I'm feminizing because I usually am so out of touch with the uh, Kenyan aesthetics and sense of beauty. And so I can get away with a lot living in Asia because people don't really know what the standard of Kenyan beauty is like. And I can just walk around with my crazy hair. We'll be like, okay, maybe that's how everybody just rolls 
where he comes from, which isn't the case. When I go back to Kenya and I'm in Nairobi especially, I gotta look the part, right? Gotta fit in with everybody else. And so yeah, I kind of get a lot down during that day because I'm usually so pressed for time. I can't afford being at, at ease for more than a day in a visit. I usually have things to do, people to see, places to go. You know, it's just a wild and so yeah, I get a lot done and that's how you see it. There's so many people around just you know, that's my niece Sandra. And after this we'll probably, you know, go out and have a, a bomber's dinner and just chat and talk and you know and just laugh and have a good time and catch up and just enjoy each other's presence and I really appreciate my friends and my family that do come out um, and sometimes I even take business appointments like I'll be meeting my architect there I'll be meeting you know an event organizer there I'll be meeting a potential you know client there I'll be meeting all kinds of people at the salon because I'm in town that one time and I'll be sitting there for eight hours if you want to see me you really need to see me I may not be able to see you any other time so my uh I really love this about these that they'll you know provide water or drinks and there's a guy who can run across the street and grab us a quick bag or something to bite on as we get hair done so it's amazing as you can see it's come a long way yeah it's looking really nice and Chai's just making sure that she <laughs> sews everything up ooh 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 Chai look at that ooh mama <laughs> Eyes looking nice, as looking hot, as looking like a proper Nairobi chick, as about to go in, get into that club and get it popping. I'm just so happy with my do, as you can tell. Look at that, look at the magic of cha. Oh, yes, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, Lord, so. <laughs> This is a tribute to Chow. Oh, that's my eldest sister. I love her a bit. And you look at her just making me feel gorgeous. Uh, this is a tribute to Chow for being one of the most amazing people I know and one of the most creative hairdressers I've ever, you know, had the pleasure of being met by. And um, a tribute to just people who um, love me. And it's also... Oh, oh. <laughs> want to know how to get this done where to get it done and how a day at the hairdressers looks like for a girl with long dreadlocks boom look at that boom yeah <laughs> oh thank you very much for watching kindly subscribe like ask any questions you may have in the comment section if you're wondering how to get there or you're wondering what else i do for my hair you're wondering anything else you know even if it's not related to this video in one of my other videos you can ask and uh please do hit that notification bell so that when i do upload next you're notified thank you for watching i love you very much